We begin at an apartment complex near the University of Florida campus in Gainesville on the night of October 9th, 1986. Margaret Lavelle saw something in the shadows. A lot of the students played games in the complex on young girls there, you know, just peeking in. But it just didn't look right to me. He just didn't look like a normal person that would just be hanging around the building. That's what really scared me the most of all. John, come here. Neither Margaret nor her husband John were sure how serious the situation was. He just looked strange. He really did. He looked wicked. So then finally I decided to call the sheriff's department. The call came into dispatcher Janice Whitney at 9.30 p.m. Sheriff's emergency? Yes, um, I'm calling. I live in the Fox Hollow apartments. I'm reporting a peak in Tom. Okay, what does the person look like, ma'am? Um, he's about six foot. Um, he's right now looking in the window. We're watching him. Okay, is he white or black, ma'am? white. What's the address? At first, this one didn't seem unusual at all. We have Prowler or Peeping Tom calls all the time. Okay, stay on the phone, ma'am, okay? Okay. We got Peeping Tom in progress. 87 to 20. From five miles away, Sheriff's Deputy Chuck Sexton was immediately dispatched. But it would take him seven minutes to get to the scene. Deputy Claire Noble was less than a mile away. 173. They asked for a unit to come back him up, and I said I would be en route. You're not supposed to be interrupted in dinner, but when you only have so many officers working the road, you, know, you don't want somebody to go to a call by themselves, especially a prowler call, because you never know. It could be somebody watching his girlfriend, or it could be a burglar. Okay, could you see what he was wearing? All I know is he was wearing jeans and a dark colored shirt. Okay, do you know if anybody lives in that apartment? Yes, I do. Two young girls are college students. Two young females live in that apartment? Well, 50 to 50. I've been advised this will be a white male, six foot. Town four, do we have a clothing description? 1023. Because it is a college community here, we do get a lot of prowler calls. Hopefully, we'll interrupt the con. Okay, I want to keep you on until the deputy gets there because he will probably run when he sees the deputy's car. I need you to let me know which way he goes. Okay. I've got a couple of deputies coming, as a matter of fact. Okay, our deputy is there, and she's going to come up on foot. It's a female deputy, but she's in a regular uniform, so let me go ahead and keep you on the phone. They've given me directions that didn't make much sense when I got there. I got in there, it was the wrong area. Every time a car would come through the parking lot, he would run around the building. He ran around to the other side of the building, but which way is that? Um, Let's see, right. Left. Did he spot the deputy? Do you have any idea? Uh-uh. Is she up that close? Can y'all see the deputy? Um, I'm in the... Wait a minute, let me put you... Let me hold on. Okay. I'm in the kitchen. He ran, that she can't see the deputy, I don't know. Okay, you said that we take the main entrance to Fox Hollow and then take your first right and then go all the way down to the end of the left? Mm hmm She repeated the direction. 173 to 87, those directions are wrong. He's back again. He's back in front again. He's got something in his hand. What do you think it is, a gun or no? He don't have He's got something in his hand, but they can't tell what. Was there to be advised, the subject was advised he has something in his hand, unable to advise what it is. When I first saw him, there was light between us, and it was very hard for me to see exactly what he was doing. Sheriff's office, freeze! Turn around! Almost immediately, I realized that his hands were not where they should be, and I couldn't see what he had in his hand. No, sir, it's just a toy! It's real hard to tell a toy from a real when you're talking about guns, because they make guns look so real nowadays. We have to be certain that this guy just, just wasn't some crazy with a toy gun. No, she didn't get him. He ran around the corner. Okay. Any additional units that can be 1051 Fox Hollow, subject is signal zero. There's 1031 on foot. When we continue... Just the toy gun! Officer, uh, Palmetto's apartment needs backup immediately.